right in. It's time right now for our fresco. So Tony Tantillo, today it's Tony's table. And if you know anything about Tony Tantillo, you know he can work wonders with one pan and some pasta. That's it. One pan <laughs> pasta and some fresh ingredients, and that's all you need. Uh, you're adding something that I've never heard about today, though. This is called opa. Now, opa is related to the Italian cacuzza zucchini, which yeah. is a very long Kazuka? zucchini. What do you Italian, call it? it's called cacuzza. 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 Now, my father actually still grows it in his backyard. And let me tell you, you let it grow, and it can go five, six, eight feet long. Mm. This is more commercial because you really can't sell it that long. And even mm -hmm. the leaves on this plant is great. On a dish, an Italian dish is called pasta with cacuzza and tenderume, which are the leaves. Mm. I know it's hard to say, but that's it's, why I'm it's, not repeating it's, it. But it sounds nice, though, doesn't it? <laughs> and this is ripe, huh? Because Th it looks really ripe. green. This is perfect. When you buy it, you want to make sure it's nice and green like this all the way around, free from any cracking whatsoever. Now, this is a soft squash, so mm. it cooks rather quick, faster than Italian zucchini. It cooks quick. You can put it in there with tomatoes; it'll cook the same as amount of time as the tomatoes. You don't want to overcook it, otherwise it's going to get too soft and lose a lot of its flavor. I love this one. I see it at the market. So this is what we did. Oh, I got a little pasta water. We're starting to stick a little bit okay, right here. Okay, and the pasta water just makes it creamier. Pasta water makes it creamier. And we added the, the opa with tomatoes and white onions. Those three together with some salt and pepper. And is this a linguine? That's a linguine. And we cooked them together for a little while. Then we added the linguine nice and al dente. Now I'd like you to finish this off, if you don't mind. We're going to add, oh, let me just check one thing, Sandy, real quick. Okay. Oh, I want to see. And did you pre-cook the pasta? No. Oh, yeah, the pasta oh, pre-cooked. Oh, sure, Pre-cooked sure. and then yeah. put it in the pan. Mm -hmm. How is it? I need to cook a little bit more if you go ahead and okay. try Oh, yeah, this piece is yeah, a yeah, little, yeah. little we'll firm. Yeah, cook a little bit more. I All jumped right. on this a little bit too fast, but that's okay. And you're okay. just constantly turning it, and turning it. And it's called it. Riminata. You keep doing this, because what you want to do is just keep getting the oils released. And then the pasta, I mean the sauce adheres to the pasta and forms just a beautiful stock. Add a little bit of olive oil. In okay. Here. A tiny bit. Perfect. I didn't add any yet. I know, I said oh. perfect. <laughs> perfect olive oil. Good. How's that? Now, okay. you're going to add some pepper and salt. All right. Okay. Tell me when, Tony. Good, that's good. Okay. And salt. Now, we didn't put anything in here with any salt flavors. in it, so you can be a little bit generous of salt if okay. you want. Now remember, when you add sea salt, sea salt has less sodium than regular table salt. Parsley. Fresh parsley. The oils from the parsley going. A little bit more. Okay. A little bit more. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> now, do we have time to plate now? Yes, let's do it. Let's plate this. Okay, we're gonna put this right, the pasta right in the middle. I love like how this. everything's so simple and so fresh. It really, is. that's the way of Italian cooking, it, it right? Is. Whatever's it's available, whatever's what's right. available, what's in the stores. Mm -hmm. The whole thing is fresh ingredients. Uh, some crusty bread, a little Chianti, and, some crusty bread. and lunch is served. And Tony. some cheese. Mm. And what kind of cheese are you putting need? on top of that? Pecorino Romano. You got it. Because I want it nice and bold. Right <laughs> in there. Thank you, Tony. Thank you.